Hi, this is a video to go through how to become a 3D modeling pro. In this video, we'll focus on what sort of software you'll need, your mindset, where to go for great tutorials, and where the best places are to start out, and what you should be starting out with modeling. So first of all, a bit about me. I'm a sixth form teacher and I teach games design, so mainly 3D modeling, and I'm a freelance 3D modeler. I take on all sorts of projects. My favorites are games design characters and game design landscapes, uh, but I also do architectural visualizations and things like that. So you could say I'm a pro because I get paid to do these things, but I still feel like I've got a long way to go before you get to that, well, what you'd expect a pro to be. But I have a lot of fun doing it and a lot of fun learning about it. So what sort of program should you use? Well, there's lots of programs out there but it really doesn't matter what you choose. It's the tools that are available to you and it's the tools that you're comfortable learning that's the most important. It is worth noting that uh, Maya seems to be the most popular amongst industry. So if you want to go into the big industries and you want to uh, not have to learn a new piece of software when you go in, then Maya is the one for you. Substance Painter also seems to be the really common one for texturing. So both those two are very important to the industry and therefore you might want to just start on those on the first rung. If you did go into the industry as a freelancer, you would have to pay for a license and they're very expensive. Also, you can get a student license, but obviously you have to show that you're a student. And that, of course, will only last you whilst you're a student. So if you want to continue your work afterwards, you have to pay for a license. However, there's great advantages to other programs, particularly Blender. That's the one I use. As a freelancer, I can use Blender and I don't have to have a commercial license or anything like that. Lots of people argue, oh, well, this one's better, this one's not as good. The only program that I really think is that much better is ZBrush seems to be the industry standard for sculpting, uh, whereas a program like Blender seems to have a bit of a way to go there. Although I have seen some amazing pieces created in Blender. It just takes that little bit more effort to get there than it does with something like ZBrush. Substance Painter is another one. If you're texturing within Blender, it's just a bit more quirky and a bit more awkward to get to that final stage, but the results can be the same. In terms of where to go for tutorials, I've got a long list. Uh, Darren Lyle, I learned a lot from him. I thought he was fantastic and he goes at a nice pace although I think he's moved a lot of his tutorials across to Udemy or something like that. So he's trying to sell his work, which is fair enough. But still on his channel, uh, there's some great stuff. Blender Guru is another one, although I wouldn't start out with the more complex stuff. He does a lot of very complicated tutorials, which are fantastic, but start with the basics, start with the simple, I think he makes a donut or something like that. Uh, that's a really good starting point. He also produces uh, some excellent resources as well. I would strongly recommend you don't go into one of the more expert tutorials, like I think there's teddy bears and explosions and things like that, just because they're quite complicated and a lot to learn. And I don't think you learn so well just by copying those things and you're better off starting at a nice basic beginning point. Born CG is a really good one for quick tips. There's lots of four minute or so tutorials on there. I used to do one a day of those just to get some quick tips. A lot of those tips I'd already know, but it was still really handy to get an overview of how someone else was doing it. And sometimes you pick up some real gems. Uh, Jan Sculpts is another good one for sculptors. Uh, one of the only people really doing that sort of thing and he's got quite a fun, quirky style. Another one for some good short tips, and I think those are really useful. One a day, really great way of learning, and you can just repeat it. Even if you're only watching it whilst doing something else, you can take those in and then go back to them knowing exactly where they are. Half the battle with starting out without someone guiding you as a teacher is knowing where to find the information and good information that's correct. CG Geek is another really good one. He does some excellent tutorials. Remington Graphics, he's got some great knowledge and good delivery. JNM is another new one recently and I've really been impressed with what he's produced. Uh, some quick tips, uh, lots of things that I didn't realize, learned a lot from him. So I'd like to say thanks to all those people. And sorry, I probably missed quite a few. There are lots out there. It really is just immersing yourself in it, uh, looking up different techniques all the time. So where's the best place to start? Well, I think working on low poly models. So look at a low poly style and just get the basic shapes, get the basic understanding of the 3D interface. Even if you're just using the basic primitives to build up models, start with that 
build up scenes. It's great fun because you quickly progress and you quickly produce something. And it's nice to actually have something in front of you and say, that's mine, I've done something and I'm proud of that. You'll probably look back at it in about a year's time and think that was absolutely rubbish, but at the time it'll be the best thing ever. So start with low poly, nice and simple. Simple colors as well. I wouldn't go into painting too early. I wouldn't go into sculpting too early either. Just keep it simple. Mindset is all important. You have to keep failing and learn from those mistakes. Especially if you haven't got a teacher around, you'll get frustrated, but you just keep failing and keep failing and eventually you get better and better. And it's all about learning from your mistakes and learning from those failures. Don't get despondent, don't get frustrated. You will get massively frustrated, especially if you're using Blender and you're figuring out how to use the right click to start off with, very frustrating. But keep going and keep working through it. A big question I get asked a lot is, do you have to be an artist? No, you don't, but it massively helps. So working on your artwork, I think is really helpful. Uh, even if it's just simple things like observation, uh, looking at things, figuring out how they're made. You might be more technically based. Usually I get two types of students, one that's very technical and one that's very artistic. And the artistic ones tend to want to go into the painting areas or the sculpting areas. And the technical ones, more the sort of architectural vi visualization or hard surface modeling. And often they're using box modeling techniques or planar uh, building up with planes and lines techniques, whereas the artists, uh, they're using the sculpting techniques and baking out normal maps and things like that. I think that's probably enough for you to start with. I'll produce some more on this series, probably about workflow and about different techniques that you can go through uh, from basic uh, concept to finished article and just what the processes are so you know what to look for uh, when you're learning. And if you like this sort of tutorial series, uh, then let me know and uh, give it a thumbs up, obviously. And uh, more importantly to me is the comments, because I like to know what people are thinking and any advice you have. Of course, there's a beginner series on this channel and there's an intermediate series on this channel. Have a look at those. I tend to focus on the artistic side more than the technical side. So look out for those sort of tutorials if you're interested in that type of thing. So I hope this helps and thanks for watching.